And we have Cleo here. Hello. You joining us? What is up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And from the title of this video, I am finally doing a part two of my closet clean out which like part one was probably a month ago. So if you haven't seen part one, definitely go and check that out. Since then, I have cleaned out my entire closet here and then I started putting in clothes that I've had on my uh, clothes couch. If you all just have a designated area in your room where the clothes literally just continues to pile up and pile up. So I sorted through that and then moved things into my closet it to organize it. Hot mess right now. I'm just creating these different piles. So this is like sweaters and like heavy things. And then over here I have sweatshirts and hoodies and pullovers and stuff. And then opposite on this side I have a pile of long sleeve t-shirts. I just want to create these piles so then I can just put everything away at once and know how much is in each pile. So for today's video we are going to be going through my college clothes. If you saw my college move out video from 2020 which I'll have linked down below, I had to stick all of my college clothes, essentials, dorm things into a few boxes to move out of my college dorm in the middle of the pandemic. And so those have just been sitting here and I finally need to go through them <laughs> because they have been collecting dust, which is very bad. So we'll go through these, add them to my piles over there, or I'll be sticking it in the closet if it's like the t-shirts, dresses, stuff like that. So honestly, maybe we'll have a part three like I mentioned in part one, this is a long process. So let's get started with part two, organizing and going through my college boxes. Ah, it's like a year and a half later. That is so bad. So here are my two boxes that we're going to be going through. And I am finally, I'm so excited to actually be able to locate clothes because I never know where anything is when they're in boxes and all around. So I'm excited to get it all organized. It's like a big present. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't remember what is in here. So it looks like this is like pants and some shirts and stuff like that. Ah oh, yes, these cool pants that flare at the bottom, very cool. So for like jeans and stuff right now, I have them separated out as well. So I like definitely want to try every pants on again, make sure that they fit. If the clothing like doesn't fit anymore, definitely I'll put it into the donate pile. Wrap around skirt, it's so pretty. And so for skirts and everything, I will just hang this directly into the closet. So one of these hangers. It's super wrinkly. But for like t-shirts, crop tops, things like that, I've been just sticking them in another laundry hamper because I feel like for shirts like this, it doesn't make sense. You're gonna have so many of them. They're gonna clog up your closet. So I just stick them in a laundry hamper. Then you just have to dig through to find it because otherwise the closet is too small. And then like regular shirts like this, I will just hang in the closet in like the shirt area. My Berkeley sweatpants, I definitely need these. So I'm glad I found them again. This green pullover I got while thrifting. It is so pretty, ready for fall. This was like such a good find at the thrift store as well. That looks better, oversized green pullover. Flannel, also closet. I have my flannel section in the closet. So a bunch of these t-shirts, cropped tees, into the laundry hamper. We have a few dresses in here. So this blue one, everything is wrinkled. I need to fix that, iron them. But honestly, in college, no one has room for an iron in your tiny dorm room. So I just have been using this like downy wrinkle release spray and it works. So I don't know, I need to like uh, spray it on everything because everything in the box is wrinkled and would look bad wearing it. Do you all use this or do you actually iron your clothes? Let me know in the comments. But yes, dresses hang up as well. So I think the rest of the stuff in this box is like 
pants, jeans, stuff like that, which I'm like so surprised. Did I like not leave the house at all to never need long pants all last year? That is just so weird. <laughs> I'm like, I did not wear any of this, but I got my overall jeans. So that'll be good for the fall and winter to have these back out here. I also have my tour guide jacket, just says campus ambassador in Berkeley on it. I mean, yeah, I guess I can continue to wear it because it's a good jacket and it says Berkeley on it. And then I have a bunch of like funky pants. So this is polka dotted, mismatched black and white on each leg. So those are quite funky. Also striped pants, more striped pants, some Santa pants. Oh my goodness, at the bottom here. So in college, I went to some different like student residential life leadership conferences. And so this was the national conference. We got to go to Purdue University. And so when you go to these conferences, you get to trade pins with the other schools attending. And so like this was the national one, schools from all across the United States. And like we would share these Cal pins that we made and then you trade with other people. You can see some of them are like less cool. These are like literally just pins but like some of them are cooler than others when they like create little things on there so like this one looks like saturn i guess a planet this one they added like googly eyes and antlers a little face on there but yeah the cow ones are very cool these are really cool to see definitely have to keep this and like hang it up somewhere and then i also have this one so this was from Pucker, which is just the like Pacific schools. These are just like West Coast schools, Hawaii, Alaska, and University of British Columbia, I think is there also. These ones are a lot cooler. So we also have like this one for Berkeley with the bear logo there. I got like a little Canada pin. So this is University of Hawaii at Manoa. They got like sand and a seashell there. So that is pretty cool. UCSB with the bedazzled one, OSU with like the beaver tail, very hot now. The last thing in here, I have my cord from when we graduated during the pandemic, so I'll have to hang this somewhere too. That is the end of this box, so on to the bottom box. One of two, very good. This is tiring, I had to get a camera charger too because it's gonna die, so amazing. More funky pants, also blue and polka dotted. Some gray striped pants. These cargo pants, also quite out there. My vest, yes, a great staple for fall, so this is amazing. Oh my gosh, yeah, after the last closet clean out video I did, I literally continued to clean out the closet. I found more notebooks. I think like the latest in the video was 2012. Then I found more papers from like 2010. It was insane. So I've been also listening to a lot of podcasts recently. I feel like those are always fun to listen to, like learn about different things. So I guess maybe in the future I'll do a like podcast I enjoy on Spotify video because I also need some new podcasts to listen to. So if any of you listen to any good podcasts, definitely leave a comment for your recommendations because I need some new things to watch because everything that I have seen recently, I have like finished. So I need some new ones. Not much in this box. I think the rest in here, it is like all socks. So that'll be good. I'll just stick them out here for now. And then I'll have a lot of socks to wear. So here I have the closet thus far, just everything on the hangers here. So like over here, I have those camis and stuff from the last video. This area is just like basic tees. And then it goes more into like fancy or like long sleeve t-shirts. And then here we have like some cardigans. And then this is like flannel area and also like cover-ups like the green long sleeve pullover I was showing you all and then here I have some skirts so these are like the long skirts and then I also have some short skirts there this is like 
overall overall dresses there and then we go into dress dresses so these are just like regular dresses more casual ones on the left hand side and more like fancy ones going to the right hand side then in this corner back here I have like all of those work outfits it's a small area right now because everything is work from home but probably going to need more work clothes once we go back to in person so that sucks because there's no room and work clothes is so expensive, I don't want to buy it. Oh my god, I am so hot. This is a process. But I'm glad we got a lot done for today's video. Next time, maybe uh, sorting through all of the piles out here, putting it into the bottom part of the closet as well as like dressers and stuff like that. It's just so hot. I am sweating so much right now. I'm like, this is terrible. I need to like go to Target or something to get like bins for the upper part of the closet because I have a lot of scarves and things like that that I need somewhere to put so I think a bin would be good rather than just like hanging them up or just having them splayed out everywhere I think a bin would be nice anyways thank you all so so much for watching definitely give this video a big thumbs up to help me out with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time